Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will install iPad Studio on our computer and create our first automation. So this is a tutorial made for people that want to get started with iPad. So let's access here to Google and search for iPad. And let's click here on the first result where it says iPad Automation Platform Leading RPA Company. So let's click here on the first result. And so now we are on the main page of YPath website that it's on www.ypath.com as we can see here. And now to create an account on YPath, let's click here on the button try YPath free. So we can see that we have here two buttons. We can click on one of them. So let's click. And now here we can create an account on YPath Automation Cloud. So we have here four options to create an account. First, we can create an account with our Google account, with Microsoft account, LinkedIn account, or just by email. So I will choose here the last option. And now we have to fill this form. So first on organization name, you can indicate, for example, the name of the company where you work or indicate just a fictional company name like fake company, for example. Now here, let's indicate our first name and here our last name. So now here on country region, let's indicate the country where we live. And now on email, let's indicate our email address. And now in last, let's define here our password account. So now to create the account, we just have to check this checkbox to accept the terms and policies. So let's check. And now let's click on this button to create our account. And as we can see here, we we'll sent an email for verification. So let's check the inbox of the email that we indicated to create the account. And as we can see, we received an email from YPath to verify our email address. So let's open the email. And to verify the email, we just have to click here on this button. And as we can see, we have now our account created on YPath Automation Cloud. So now let's go to the second step, that is download the YPath Studio installation. To do it, let's click here on the button help that we can see here. And here we can download the YPath Studio installation. We have here two options, the preview and the stable one. So in this course, we will use the stable version. So let's click here on stable. And now to download the installation, let's click here on the download button. And as we can see here, the download of the YPath installation was started. So let's just wait a bit. The download already finished, so let's execute the file to start the YPath to the installation. So let's click on it. So the YPath setup already started, and first we have to choose one of these two options. So we have here the option quick, recommended for community users, and the option custom, recommended for enterprise advanced users. So let's choose here the first option, the option quick recommended for community users and now we just have to check here on this checkbox to accept the terms and to be able to install the webpad studio so now after check the checkbox let's click here on the button install to install the webpad studio on our computer so the installation already started so let's just wait it to finish during the YPath Studio installation will appear this window asking if we want to install the YPath extension for Chrome. So let's install it because we will need it to create automations 
that uses the Chrome browser. So let's click here on OK. And now let's terminate the Chrome process that are still running to install the Webpack extension for Chrome. So let's click here on OK to terminate the Chrome process. And as we can see, our Webpack installation is completed. So now let's just open the Google Chrome to enable the Webpack extension. So let's open Google Chrome. And as we can see here, was added the Webpack extension. So let's click here on enable extension to enable it. And so now we have the Webpack extension enabled. So now we can minimize the browser. And now let's click here on the button launch Webpack Studio. Now, because it's our first time using Webpack Studio on our computer, we have to sign in with our Webpack Automation Cloud to get started. So let's just click here on sign in. And now we just have to click here on the button Open Wipath. And now we just have to wait. And now we have to choose the Wipath Studio profile. And we have here two options the Wipath Studio and the Wipath Studio X. The Wipath Studio profile is the most complete and advanced version with more features. The Wipath Studio X it's a more simplified and limited version. So in this course, we will use the Wipad Studio profile. So let's click on it. And now Wipad Studio will start. And as you can see, we have the Wipad Studio initiated. So now that Wipad Studio is installed on our computer, let's create our first route, our first automation. So to create it, let's click here where it says process and let's define here our project name, our process name to first automation, for example. And now let's click here on create. And so it's here where we will develop our first automation. So our first automation will open the Google Chrome browser and we'll search for the weather in certain cities. So for example, weather London. So we'll search and the goal is to extract the degrees of the city. So in this case, it's five degrees and then show the degrees on the message box. So let's start. So first our automation should open the Google Chrome browser. And so to open it, we will use an activity that allows us to open the browser on certain page. So to search for the activity, let's click here on activities panel and let's search here for use application browser. And we can see here the activity. So an activity on Wipath, it's an action during automation. So it could be do a click, fill text, extract text, open a browser, open application. So it's an action. And so let's uh, drag uh, this activity to our project. And first we need to indicate the application to automate. So let's indicate the Google Chrome browser. So let's click here on indicate application to automate. And now we can indicate the application. So let's indicate it. And we can see here the URL. So let's just create a variable with the name str URL. And so the value inside of the variable will be www.google.com. And now let's call here our variable. So by this way, if we run our automation, it will open the Google Chrome browser on the URL that we have indicated here. So let's run it. And as we can see, it opens a browser and then closes. 
So to remove the browser closing, let's click here on our activity and then let's click here on the properties tab and here we can see the properties of our activity. Here we can see the property close, so let's set it as never and by this way, this activity will never close the browser. So if we run again the automation, we will see that it will not close the browser as we can see. So what's now the next step? The next step is to fill here so the text to search. So whether London, for example, or whether Paris. So let's do it. So to enter here text, we will use the activity type into that allows us to enter text on the field. So let's drag the activity to our project. So it needs to be inside of the use application browser activity. And now to indicate the field, first let's click here where it says indicate in Chrome. And let's indicate the field where we want to enter the text. And now let's confirm our selection. And now we just need to indicate here the text to enter. So first we need to open double quotes here. And let's say here, for example, weather London. We can uh, put another city. So let's execute our automation to see if it enters the text. So to run it, let's click here. And as we can see, it enters the text on the field. So now it's needed to do the search on Google. So to do the search, we have at least two options. One of them is to click here on the Google search button. The other is to execute the enter key. So let's do by click here, by clicking here on this button. So let's use the click activity that uh, does a click on the indicated element. So let's drag it after the type in the activity. And now let's indicate the button. So let's click first here on F2 to pause the selection mode. So let's remove here the drop down. So the list of uh, items that was appearing. And now let's click here on the button and let's confirm. So let's test again. So let's close the browser and let's see what will happen. So let's run our automation again. And as we can see, our automation opens the browser, enters the text and does the search by clicking on the Google search button. So now that we are here, the next step is to extract the degrees. So we need to extract this value from the page. So to extract the text, let's use the activity get text that allows us to extract the text from an indicated element. So let's drag this activity after the click. And now we need to indicate the element from which we want to extract the text. So let's indicate here the element. And let's confirm. So now we need to create a variable to store the extracted text. So to create a variable easily, let's click here. And now let's do control plus key to create a variable directly from here. Uh, the other option is to click here on variables panel and click here on create variable. And now here we can set the variable name, for example, str degrees of type string. So now let's call here the variable that will store the degrees. And now uh, let's use here a message box to see if it's extracted the value. So here the text to appear, let's input here uh, the variable str degrees. And so by this way, uh, will be shown on the message box, the value inside is stored by this variable. So uh, let's close again the browser and let's run it again. And as we can see, it was extracted with success the degrees on London. So let's now try another city. So here 
Let's replace London by Paris, for example. And let's run again. And again, we we'll extract successfully the degrees now in this case on Paris. So, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like so it can reach to more people. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA tutorials. So, if you want to learn more about YPath, just click here on the playlist that appears on the screen so you'll get access to many white path tutorials that I do.